Hey there internet, it is your boy, The New. So Netflix is at it once again with another announcement of a new anime adaptation. This time around, they are taking on the juggernaut Ghost in the Shell. Now not only did we have announcements for a live action Cowboy Bebop and the rights to Evangelion, but now we're getting this. Netflix is going into the old school bin and bringing out the classics. Now apparently the announcement for this originally happened in 2017 during the times of the Scarlett Johansson live action Ghost in the Shell movie. But with nobody really liking that film and critics and fans giving it bad reviews, the announcement for this kind of got swept underneath the rug, which is kind of a bummer. Now there isn't a lot of information out there about what's this story is going to be or what point in the time frame it is but they at least have given us an announcement in 2020 they will be releasing Ghost in the Shell 2045 now does this mean it's gonna be the year 2045 I'm not sure but who knows now Ghost in the Shell is a classic in the manga anime community the manga originally started I believe in 1989 the animated film which a lot of people know of came out in 1995 and then there's the animated series uh, which a lot of people got introduced to thanks to Toonami myself included which was Ghost in the Shell standalone complex and now there have been a bunch of movies there's been a bunch of animated series OVAs um, a live-action movie and Ghost in the Shell has actually inspired a lot in the entertainment industry. Uh, anime, um, movies, one movie that is known worldwide took a lot of inspiration from Ghost in the Shell. That movie is The Matrix. The Wachowski brothers actually admit to liking Ghost in the Shell and if you actually watch The Matrix there are scenes you could take from it and cut it directly from Ghost in the Shell. Now so far, like I said, there is not a lot of information about this out yet. The only thing we know is the release date, the title, and the co-directors. This will be co-directed by Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex's own director, Kenji Kamaya, and Apple Seeds director, Shinji Ariki. Which actually makes me a lot more excited because these two individuals are from the old school anime, which means that we're pretty much gonna have a high chance of getting a good story and good animation. Now, there isn't any concept art yet, out yet. There's only this one piece that I have seen, but it almost looks like they're going to be taking the route of the CGI computer animation one, which has been a mixed bag of nuts when it comes to anime. You've got some really good ones like uh, the Godzilla films they've used CGI on that and I have loved it but then you've also got the bad ones like the 2016-2017 Berserk will this be good or bad I don't know but I actually think that Ghost in the Shell might be one of the series that actually benefits from this CGI animation the reason being if you know the story uh, Ghost in the Shell is set in the future in a time frame where the the line between human and machine is getting more and more blurred like take the major for example who is the main character of ghost in the shell the only part about her that is human is her brain other than that she's completely cybernetic a lot of the characters in the ghost in the shell series have some sort of augmentation be it limbs be it basically built-in Wi-Fi internet connection into them. So I think a CG animation might actually benefit this story. Then again, I do like my 2D animation, so I'll sit back and wait and see. There is one thing I do hope, though. I hope that they bring back the original voice cast. See, I actually uh, grew up watching Ghost in the Shell in the English dub. I never watched it in the Japanese. So... I actually kind of want the English cast to come back. Now I know it has been a while since uh, I think we've had any Ghost in the Shell. The last time we got any Ghost in the Shell it seems was back in 2013. And now the other thing I'm really interested to see what they're going to do is the soundtrack actually uh, did a big part in the anime in my opinion because a lot of people don't think about it but music 
changes the focus of any scene. You can have a dark and gritty scene all you want, but if the music, the sound effect that is with it, isn't good, uh, then it won't be great. So I'm wondering if they're going to bring back any of the composers that did the music and soundtracks from the originals. I hope they do. Well, that's my quick uh, announcement for today. With Netflix coming out with all these classic animes, I wonder what else they're going to touch. In my opinion, I got a couple suggestions, Netflix. The Big O, Outlaw Star, and this one's just a personal for me because I like this series and I'd like to see it go further. Crest of the Stars. I'm the noob. I hope you enjoyed this. What kind of classic anime would you like Netflix to take a stab at? Do you want them to risk uh, doing any more animes? Or do you think they've reached a point where they should stop? Anyways, I'm the noob. I'll catch you later. See ya.